hey it's me again i'm going to do another reading and i'm going to be doing the um reading for scorpio um she would be the queen of cups so scorpio would be ruled by morris and pluto and that would be death judgment and the queen of cups okay um where's the energy at what did the cards have to say and um what is the overall advice for um that sign okay let me start with the energy from the oracle deck and see where it's at abundance home beyond the veil trust and that is the cover of this deck that's the front cover that's crazy um, okay. oh look at that spirit heals a journey symbiosis and a gift wow and the deck is beyond the veil So there's something about, yeah, you're healing right now. Spirit heals. So you're going through healing. Spiritual healing. And I'm getting that, yeah, you're being comforted and healed by your guides and the angels and the divine. Like a child. You're going through a journey? Yeah, a spiritual journey for sure. Um... You're looking for something that benefits an equal give and take, symbiotic, you know, mutual benefit. So I'm seeing uh, six of pentacles, an equal give and take. So it's like you, you, you give, but you're not getting anything back. And at this point, it's like you're done with that. You're done with this uh, one-sided connection. Well, all you do is give and all they do is take. You want something equal, you want to give, and you also want to take. It needs to be balanced, okay? So you're looking for balance. And your gift. Not only are you a gift, but you're also gifted. You have gifts to share, and you're also a gift for someone. Ooh, and I'm, I'm looking at the clock. It says 444. Wow. So that's what they wanted to say. And I'm going to go ahead and, and keep all of these because that's what they wanted to say. So a gift, symbiosis, a journey, and spirit heals. So what does the demonology uh, oracle have to say about this? A time to give. Yes, give and take. I just said that. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. So green, healing. Ooh, look at that. Purple. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So purple is a combination of red and blue. That is Archangel Michael's color. Again, another purple. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon again, Archangel Michael's color, blue and red. And when you combine blue and red, you get purple. <laughs> Another purple. Emotions are running high. Super moon again, purple. Archangel Michael. And blue, look at that. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. <clears throat> so, yeah, blue green. It's like aquamarine. Not only is it healing, but it's also peaceful. So that's what blue green stands for. Peace and healing. Expect powerful change, 
New Moon Eclipse, I'm seeing black and purple. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look at that. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, purple. Okay, Jermichael, blue and red. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Wow. So that is Archangel Michael's color. Purple. Wow. Yeah, it's like, it's very similar. Look at the colors. Black and purple with eclipse. And then black and purple with Scorpio. The full moon. Wow. So yeah, out with the old, in with the new. Don't let pride get in the way. Gold and black. Full moon and Leo. Yeah, sun. And your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. So you have two new moons and two full moons. Okay. Let me start with the new moons. Okay, so you have new moon eclipse, black and purple, and you have new moon in Capricorn, black and brown. All right, so you have new moon eclipse and new moon in Capricorn. And now, <laughs> all right, now the full moons. Okay, so you have purple and black. Full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. And you have uh, gold and black. Full moon in Leo, don't let pride get in your way. And uh, that's what they're saying when you combine them. Okay. So out with the old, in with the new. Okay, so let me keep that. New moon eclipse. New moon in Capricorn, full moon in Scorpio, and full moon in Leo. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, what does the tarot have to say about this? Magician number one, Virgo and Gemini number one. Wow. Okay. So you have the sun. Oh my God, look at that sun. Leo, gold, look at that. Wow. You have the sun and then the sun <laughs> with Leo. That's crazy. of fortune destiny number 10 so things will go in your favor so even if other people try to attack and attack and attack and attack and try to stop destiny they can't because it's not it's not their destiny it's yours healing with the four of swords and this is okay all right you did All dead. Ace of Wands. Judgment. Yep. You're all dead. For attacking. You're dead. Scorpio, I'm telling you, death and judgment. That is Scorpio right there. This is the Queen of Cups. Water sign energy. Three F Pentacles.
death. Yep, you did. Right, you keep you keep playing games. All right, you did. Yep, there's no more warnings. Nothing. You did. So if you attack me, you did. That's your last day. The the mo the minute you attack me, you did. That's your last day to exist. You did. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have death and judgment. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Not only is this a Scorpio reading, but it's also a Queen of Cups reading who's an empath. So the minute you attack someone innocent like me, that's your judgment. Death. So go ahead, attack. You dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, you have, oh my God, you have abundance with the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Wands released. Wow. Yeah. So you have you have um ten ten. That's a divine number. <clears throat> you have abundance and release of burdens. And I'm also seeing um nine of cups and nine of pentacles. Ninety nine. Divine number. And I'm seeing um, yeah, the enemies will be towered. Seriously, it's like you, it's like not only is that your judgment, but that's your, it's like, it's like karma and judgment. Seriously, like, why do you keep attacking? And why do you keep sending more people to attack when they know that it will result in death? Like, it's like you've been told you're seeing it in this reading and you keep attacking. So you know what's gonna happen, so death, you're dead. Even just thinking about it, you're dead. And then the magician, yeah. Number one. <laughs> so you have the magician and judgment. Are you kidding me? In the tower? Really? Your judgment is death and and tower? And then magician makes it happen and you're still wondering? What you did? Are you kidding me? Come on. You know what you did. 
And you know what's going to happen. You know. So don't play dumb. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what's going to happen. So you're dead. Go ahead and read these cards. See what the messages are. All right. Um, you want to collaborate with your match. You want to share with your match. You released your burdens. You're very abundant, and you will have a legacy. You're even more abundant by having your wishes fulfilled. You're honest. You have a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. And this opportunity will punish your enemies. And that's Aries right there. This the tower's Aries energy destruction. You have I mean seriously, you have you have the magician in the tower. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? It's like you're not going to know what you've done until it's over. So you did. That's what needs to happen. You did. And then you will realize that you took it way too seriously. Yeah, you did. Because you forgot that it was all just. It's like you forgot. You forgot. It was, you forgot. So you're not going to remember until you're dead. Until you're taken out of the game. And you realize that it was all just pretend. But you, you thought it was real. And you took it too seriously. And that's why you're dead. Yep. You're very intuitive, so you're going to go fast. <clears throat> you think before you act. And yeah, the Nine of Swords is Archangel Michael coming in to help. You know what you want, and you also know when something's worth it. You make the judgment with the King of Swords. And your match is the Queen of Swords, who brings clarity. Yeah, uh, there's going to be um, a death of something. And there's three kinds of deaths. There's going to be a physical death, which a lot of you are dying right now. You're dead. And there's going to be an ending. An ending to negative energy persisting. That's dead. That's ending. And also, um, there will be change. It needs to happen. And that's their judgment. Yep. And because of all that, yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles, yes. I mean, you have more abundance. You have Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. It's like, this is a lot of abundance going on. And the Nine of Pentacles, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's someone else's destiny. So what are you trying to why are you trying to play God and ruin it? I don't think so. You're dead. This is not your destiny, so why are you trying to steal it? You're dead. And if you don't want to apologize or 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 right your wrong or learn from any of this, not only are you dead. But you will get to experience all of this in your next life. That's what you get. Okay. And this is what the intuitions want to say to you. Yeah. It's like, because you're very abundant, 
you're guided to be more balanced. All right, that's what I'm saying. And part of that balance is, yeah, to get rid of anything negative. Yep. And start over and only include anything positive. Anything negative has to go. It's not included. Okay. So, let's see. Look at that. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Seven of Swords. Are you kidding me? Seven of Wands? Seven of, seven of Pentacles? And Two of Swords. Alright. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> so there's a warning right there. With 77. Yeah, that's a warning. But you need that. So you will die. And two of swords. Okay. Alright. So you will get you're gonna get this. Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and Two of Swords. All this you're getting. So you're dead. This is your last day. Your existence is over. You're dead. So you have two choices left. You're either buried or cremated. That's it. It's over. Have said that. I hope I helped you in some way, and I'll talk to you again soon.